Easter, written by Nathaniel Key. Interior classroom day. Mr. Clark sits calmly at Porter's desk holding a brown paper bag. Porter storms into the room. This arrangement is totally unacceptable. I couldn't agree more. Mr. Clark takes a taser out of the bag and approaches Porter. Porter slowly backpedals, bumping into Mr. Clark, Mr. Clark's desk. Suddenly, Mr. Clark flips the taser around and holds it out. Porter considers the taser, finally accepts it. Mr. Clark goes back to the bag and produces another taser. So check it out. We, we switched bodies when we were struck by lightning, right? Get this. Why not use tasers to zap each other to see if the electricity will, like, totally switch us back? Huh? What do you think? Porter stares at Mr. Clark. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that of all the bad ideas you've had in your life, and undoubtedly there have been several, that this is the worst. Hey, I don't see you coming up with any bright ideas. Because they have to be bright ideas, Porter. Do you know what odds are that this is actually gonna work? Have you put any research into this hypothesis? The only question you need to ask is, do you want to take a chance on something that, yeah, it may not work, or, you know, you definitely may spend the rest of your life as me? We're in uncharted territory. Porter's massage slowly turns sour. Oh, this is flawed on so many levels. Hurry up and do it before I change my mind. They stand with their tasers pointing at each other. On the count of three. One. Two. Oh, 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 oh. Won't this hurt? Yes. <laughs> Porter scoffs loudly. <laughs> Relax, they're on the lowest set. Oh well, uh, that's one good thing, right? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Mr. Clark tasers Porter in the chest. He writhes in agony. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude, you should have seen the look on your face, like, ah! <laughs> dude, Porter, we said go on three. And we did go on three. One, two, three. That's four. How are, you, how are you a math teacher when you can't count? Wait, 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 wait. You did that on purpose? Hey, now, that was an accident. Could have happened to anybody. Look. If it'll make you feel any better, we'll do it your way this time. One, two, three, go. Got it? Porter's jaw clenches. Yeah. Oh, got it. Good. I'll speak slowly. One, two. Porter tasers Mr. Clark in the chest. He writhes in agony. Ah, okay. Oh, you, you, you did that on purpose. Whoops. Mr. Clark slams his fist on the desk. I told you, it was an accident. God, that hurts. Mr. Clark snatches Porter's taser. This isn't working. We'll have to use the long range option, maximum strength. Mr. Clark modifies the tasers, hands one back to Porter. On the count of three. On three. One, two, three. They pull the triggers, probe shootout, striking Porter in the neck and Mr. Clark in the balls. Mm. They writhe in agony before slumping to the ground unconscious, black. Interior classroom, later. From above, Mr. Clark's eyes shoot open. He takes the taser probes out of his neck, rolls over. Porter is sitting against the wall, staring straight ahead. It didn't work. No kidding. What do we do now? I don't know. Porter sits up next to him, stares straight ahead. Mr. Clark, you stuck like this forever? They turn to each other, exchange worried glances. Interior family room, day. Porter enters and breezes past Rebecca. How was school, honey? Shocking. He heads straight for the mirror, checks out the puncture wounds on his neck. Oh my god! 